I actually had an entire script written out about criticizing the plot and stuff to that nature, but then I realized, why would an adult be criticizing a movie that's entirely directed towards children? So, like a real adult, I'm gonna go ahead and not do that, and instead bash on all the characters. You know, like a real adult. And honestly, there's something to say about every single one of these guys. I mean, just 5 seconds into the movie, Greg is already pulling something. Having Rally zoom down while he tries to hit the wheel. Like, he knows it's dangerous, his mom only told him like Somebody 5 times during the course of the entire hurt. movie. But yeah, he doesn't care. He could've broken his arm, which eventually happens, but he doesn't even ask if he's okay. Great friend. I guess this is on Rally for having the IQ of a chimp on crack, but yeah, still. Anyways, after playing outside, Greg goes in for dinner where he gets to see his whole family. And Frank... Frank is even weirder. It's weird. It tastes better this way. Hey, oh, I'm still gonna eat it. In the live action movies, they kind of made him go off the wire. Ha! Guess who's the laugh for now? Me! But here, it feels like he's lost half his brain cells, while the other half are thinking about working on his big boy toys. Frank loves his Civil War figurines so much, he just wants to be them. Frank is planning to drop water on teenagers who TP his house, and he's out here acting like he's about to fight the war of a lifetime. Okay. Man your stations, while well, I man mine, just making sure we're not getting toilet paper this year. Avengers Infinity War, World War Z, Star Wars, none of these Civil War movies even come close to the battle Frank is about to fight against his own son. Because somehow he couldn't recognize his son walking home his three-year-old kid. Now, you may ask, well, it seems they made Frank whack. Pure canon. But what about Susan? Nah, she actually just acts like normal mother for the most part, giving Greg good advice and trying to keep him and Rally safe. So she's fine, except for the fact that her voice actress recorded her lines inside a microwave. I, I thought you were teenagers. Are you alright? We were worried sick about you two. Where were you boys? But I mean, other than that, yeah, sh she's fine. And same thing for Roderick too, I already discussed how Roderick is pretty much your average teenager, and is just portrayed as a sort of antagonist to Greg in the books. Similar thing here, he's only in the movie for about 2 minutes, but in those 2 minutes he's actually giving Greg good advice. Be careful where you sit because it may be your permanent seat, don't use the second floor bathroom because they don't have doors, and don't get the cheese touch or people will treat you like you're the plague. Which is all good advice. Again, just like the books, the music and how Roderick is portrayed makes it seem like he's just trying to scare his brother, but all of his advice checks out. Everything Roderick mentioned here eventually happens through the course of the movie. Now, one thing that's actually interesting about the movie is that other than the scenes of Greg acting like a jerk at the beginning, Greg is actually the one you have sympathy for, and it's Rally that he starts to root against. Greg breaks Rally's arm, and Rally finally gets a seat at the table, because breaking your arm means popularity in middle school. I don't, I don't fucking know. But Greg gets left out, while Rally doesn't stick up for his friend, who has to sit alone and gets food thrown on him, while he gets fed like a three-year-old. This isn't the only thing either, there's a new spot as a comic creator at his school. Which is great, because Grey can actually draw. I mean, the diary is supposedly his drawings. But the librarian changes his comic to some teacher pet stuff, and Grey gets harassed for it. While Rally uses one of Greg's throwaway ideas and gets the whole school acting like this shit is the next damn Daniel, do you know the way, or whatever trending meme is relevant for the next week and a half. Instantly making Rally a thousand times more popular while Greg is looked down upon even further now. And because of this, Rally and Greg stop being friends after a fight, and Rally makes a new friend to essentially replace Greg. They seriously just swap the roles of these two. We now feel some sympathy for Greg while we start rooting against this chubby bastard. And that's about it for the characters. I mean, other than Fregly, but... That's about it. Wait, except... I'm only three. Yeah, somehow they took this kid and made him even more annoying. Susan just cleaned off Greg's shirt, and then he throws a meatball at it. What a waste of a meatball. Look at his eyes. His stupid bucktooth grin. Please. Also, I mentioned how Susan is all good. Well, other than the fact that even in this movie, she still doesn't really say anything to Manny. Just... Boop, and that's about it. 
He may be three years old, but no way is he not aware of the stuff he's doing. Like here, Susan had Manny tag along with Greg to essentially spy on him to keep him in line, while Manny is just mocking them. And the second his mom looks at him, he starts acting like a three-year-old again. It's like when you fake sleep when your mom checks on you, while your DS is under your pillow. And it's not just this one scene either. When they're trick-or-treating, Manny just instantly turns on the cute charm to get more candy, basically doing this the entire night to get all the goods, while Greg didn't really get anything because he was too old. Alright, pause real quick. I don't really get this. Is 12 years old too old to trick-or-treat? I mean, there's no rules against it. You could be 40 and do it. Anyways, to top it all off, Manny acts like he's asleep the entire time Greg and Rally are being chased by some high schoolers. Which, again, before I continue, why do these high schoolers care about getting their candy wet? It's in wrappers. Does getting the wrappers moist make the candy worse? I don't really get it, and I also don't get why they care so much that they had to chase them in a pickup truck. One out of five. Bad game. And when Greg returns home with Manny, boys? he just snitches on him. Snake road. No remorse whatsoever. And even hits him with the... <laughs> like, after all of this, there's definitely no way he's not self-aware of what he's doing. Alright, now that we went over the characters, uh, before I cap off this video, I wanted to go over the animation. Because I, I mean, just look at it. When I think about an animated movie for this book, I picture the same art style as the books, but simply animated. It's not to say that a 3D movie can't work, but from what they presented, it doesn't look too great. Now, while I can't confirm this, I have a feeling that the movie took budget cuts, and so the movie couldn't be animated as well as it could have been. When we look at the teaser they presented when they first announced the movie, it looked like this. I can only assume that the movie went through budget cuts and had to settle with this instead of what they showed earlier. Considering that the movie only ended up being an hour long, was hardly promoted, and was only available through their streaming service should kind of tell you something. Other movies have been able to make the transition from 2D to 3D quite smoothly, but clearly these seem to have much larger budgets. We know it's entirely possible for the movie to look good, the original teaser looks quite nice. But honestly, I think it would have been even more optimal to simply switch the 3D concept and go towards that 2D style. We've done this in parts of the live action movies, and they always look really clean. I think it not only look better, but perform better if they had used this art style. Instead, it seems they didn't want to vary from their original game plan, and instead lower the quality of their animation. Which does make sense though, I can't bash on them for not changing their entire art style, even though I feel like it would have looked a lot better than this. I mean, they just look kind of off. Their skin looks like it was made out of rubbery plastic, and while I can't commend the voice acting, the lack of facial expressions hinders the overall feel of the characters. I can definitely see what they're trying to go for here, simply taking the 2D models and shifting them into 3D models. But doing that in a very 2D-centered art style, it ended up with some characters just looking like cursed images. I can't tell if this is a step up or a step down. It It's something, alright. Hey guys, thank you for stopping by today and watching. I really appreciate that, as always. And while I'm not certain on this, I am considering hiring someone to help out with the animation, just so that I can produce higher quality videos and hopefully get them out faster, since it does take a long time to produce these videos by myself. Anyways, if you are interested, you can contact me through my Twitter, I guess. I mean, I don't really use it yet, but DM me if you are interested. Also, thank you to my two patrons. Especially you, I can't read kanji. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Take it easy. Also, sorry for being so quiet. It's like 2am right now.